In November 2016, Makero University academic staff under the umbrella body Muasa laid down their tools. Shortly after, President Yori Museveni ordered the closure of the university and appointed a visitation committee headed by Dr. Ebo Rendoire, who has since passed on to study the city issues. On 29th December 2017, the committee officially handed over its report to the president at his country home in Rwakitura, Kiruhura district. Some of the findings of the 370-page report indicate that Makere is heavily indebted to the tune of over 130 billion Uganda shillings. According to the auditors, the university authorities moved to clear the debt with a repayment schedule of 73 billion shillings. But the auditors revealed that 9.5 billion shillings could not be traced in the payables. The visitation committee cites fraudulent intentions in the transactions and recommends an investigation. And when the university management called a press briefing to speak on the report, they did not give away much. And that responses must be studied properly and the responses must be appropriate. You will appreciate that I cannot just come off cuff and comment on issues that may affect one of the best universities in the world. Vice Chancellor Professor Banabas Nawangwe announced that he had appointed a committee to study the report and he would give a comprehensive response after the team completes its work. To draft the formal university response to the report of the visitation committee. The committee will be chaired by Professor William Gazeo, the acting deputy vice chancellor, finance and administration. Despite the heavy indebtedness, the visitation committee discovered that the university failed to use over 48 billion Uganda shillings. According to the committee, the university has also failed to clear taxes worth 18.5 billion shillings. The visitation committee also unearthed 12 bank accounts in Makara University names in Sandal Chattered Bank and Sentinel Bank, but these were not disclosed to the auditors. The university management denies knowledge of these accounts. The visitation committee tasked the Inspector General of Government to investigate these accounts and establish how they were opened up and the individuals operating them brought to book. Uh, maybe that's the case if that's what they found. If it's the funds is finding a solution to fix that problem of mismanaging the fund, that would be number one. How do you find, how do you fix that problem of mismanagement of funds? Because probably if there were no mismanagement of funds, there could not have been such a strike where members of staff could have demanded for their what? For their, in, in, for their salary what? For their incentives. At the time the committee was established in 2016, the vice chancellor was Professor Dumba Sentamo. The current vice chancellor, Professor Banabas Nawangwe, was his deputy in charge of finance and administration. The outgoing chairman of Makaya University Academic Staff Association, Dr. Muhammad Kigondo, told NTV that the visitation committee could have left out the salient issues that caused strikes. Makere, we should look at what works for us. But the two things or the three things are, if you need to fix the problem for Makere University, identify a funding model where the government is not the sole funder because they cannot. Number two, government should help the sitting managers. At the time of the Mwasa strike, the lecturers were demanding unpaid incentive areas totaling to 14 billion shillings. Dr. Kigundu is opposed to a proposal by the committee to decongest Makere University by transferring undergraduate programs to other public universities and institutions. You say you go to college, go to Jambo. Jambo has not fixed their problem. This is exporting problems. We won. <coughs> this is exporting problem. And uh, this, we have to sit on board the Ministry of Education before a white paper is made. Jingo Francis, NTV.